Jesus is mine. He's mine. He's mine forevermore. There's an awesome time in the presence of the Lord. He's my prayer that your life, my life will never be the same. The Lord has never gathered his people in vain. He cannot summon us here in vain. And I want to tell you, because you have come, you'll be blessed. Because you have come, something will take place in your life. And we want to receive the word of God in the outer. We want to usher in Apostle Domiziano Mwenda. And uh, we thank God also for the grace of the Lord upon his servant. The Lord has been using him in a great way. And I believe... If you have been following, and especially those who sit under this grace, something is happening in your life. You may not be seeing anything right now in the physical, but I want to tell you, every liberation begins from the realm of the spirit. Praise the Lord. The one says, blessed be the God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing. So every blessing is in the realm of the spirit. It is our responsibility to connect to the realm of the spirit. There's nothing that can challenge God. There's no problem. There's no situation. There's no condition that is bigger than our God. He's the greatest of all. And we are his workmanship. He created us in his own image and in his own likeness. He is more concerned with your life. He has the result of everything that you desire so kindly just uh, release yourself wholly unto him unto him unto him Jesus 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 Call him Jesus. Jesus. As you mention him, he mentions you before the Father. Jesus. name is lifted above. Whenever this name is mentioned, no power, no authority, no principality, no falsehood of darkness thrives at the mention of this beautiful and wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, hey. We call you Jesus at the mention of your name. Every knee shall bow. Have the mention of this beautiful name. Every tongue shall confess that you are Jesus. Hey. <laughs> Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> 
call you Jesus. Lift up your hands to Jesus. He is able to turn you around and bless your life. Come on, lift up your hands to him and speak to him as Jesus, the Lord of your life. He is able to take care of you. There is nothing he cannot do. Come on, lift him up. Lift his name. Glorify him. This is a moment of worship. Come on, glorify the name of the Lord. Father, we thank you for this on good time you have given unto us. This is a precious moment you have given unto us. Let your name be glorified. Let your name be exalted and magnified. And we thank you for this precious time uh, to commune with you, Lord. I pray that you speak to us. Speak to our lives. Turn us around. We worship you, Lord. We give you glory. We give you honor. Meet us at the point of our knees. Turn our lives around. For your glory and honor. Oh Lord, I pray as the word comes out of my mouth, shall carry the anointing, shall carry the anointing, shall carry power that will bring transformation to your people. In Jesus' mighty name, we thank you, we honor you, and praise you. In Jesus' name, we do pray, and everyone say that. Amen. Put your hands again for Jesus. He's here. Our Lord, he is our King. Amen. Amen. You may have your seats, ladies and gentlemen. God bless you. You may have your seats. Thank you, Zion Trumpeters. God bless you. God bless you. Uh, let us go into the one of the Lord. We want to have a fellowship uh, with him. And that is why we came here. We came that... Uh, we are uh, able to, or we came here that we may have a fellowship with him, we may commune with him, that we, he may pour into our spirit what is in our his spirit, and also we pour what is in our hearts to him, that he may be there for us and to help us. Amen. Uh, I want us to go direct to the book of uh, Philippians chapter is 2 from verse 5. Let this mind be in you was also in Christ Jesus who being in the form of God thought it not a robbery to be equal with God. But he made himself of no reputation and took up upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of man. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore, God also has exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow 
of things in heaven and of things in earth and the things under the earth. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord, is Lord to the glory of God the Father. I want us to learn the mindset that can bring you into the place of exhortation. The mindset that can bring you into the place of exhortation. I want you to understand this. The Bible recommends for us the kind of mind that we are supposed to have or a kind of a mindset. And in Amplified, it is called attitude. Say, so let this same attitude. So, attitude comes as a result of the mindset. You see, let the same attitude and purpose and humble mind be in you, which was in Christ Jesus. Let him be your example in humility. Now, pride or humility is a set of mind. It is how you set your mind. It is how you are able to see yourself. That is what makes you either humble or proud. Someone speaks to King Saul, he says to King Saul, when you were small, in your own eyes, in your own eyes, God lifted you up and make you the end. But now, at that time, King Saul was becoming big in his own eyes. So he was becoming big in his own eyes. So he is he was losing his position because he was becoming big in his own eyes. Now, the Bible says, let us have the same mentality or the same mindset or the same attitude that was in Christ. Am I talking to anybody here? If you want now to be exalted like Christ, your mind is supposed to be totally changed and become like that of Christ Jesus. Remember, nothing determines your life like mentality. I come again. Nothing determines your life like mentality. That's why the Bible says, be transformed. This word transformation means moving from one form to another. You metamorphose. There is what we call metamorphosis. You move from one form to another. You move from one form, and this form may not even look like related to another. You move from poor to rich. Totally different. You move from weak into strong. You move from a one who is coward into the one who is brave. And when people look at your, your life and the way you are living, they say, these are not related. You come from a person who is full of anger and revenge. The person who is full of love and peace and gentleness. You see a total transformation of the life of a person. From one form to another. How do you achieve this? Simple. 
renewing your mind. So, if your mind cannot be renewed, you cannot achieve any change that you want. The renewing of your mind gives you the change you want. So, if the power of the word is not able to change the way you are thinking, you will not achieve whatever you want to achieve. As man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So you are as a result of your thoughts. And if you cannot change your thoughts, you cannot change yourself, change your life. Now, I want you to get this understanding. The Samaritan woman who spent a lot of time with Jesus asking questions that are not important. Criticizing Jesus instead of tapping from him. Are you greater than our father Jacob who dug this well and he drank from this well? What will you use to Fetch the water and you have nothing. So, every question that she was asking Jesus, Jesus was answering it with a revelation. Because Jesus knew what he was doing. They moved to the level when the woman says, give me that water now. So that I will not come to this well to fetch. And then Jesus says, Go and bring your husband so that you drink together, the two of you. So Jesus knew where the problem is. And therefore, the woman said to Jesus, I don't have any husband. And Jesus said, you are right. You are right. You have been having those husbands. And even the one you have left before you came to fetch water, locking the house, is not yours. So the woman looked at, you can be living with husbands who are not yours, eh? So note that. Jesus knew that. Don't say we are his mind. He may not be yours. Check before you, you talk. I say, check. Check. You may be having somebody's property, not your own. Yeah, I want to say there are women who live with men who have never made them their wives. And there are women who live with men who are never their husbands. There is a process. You don't just pick a lady, please sleep with her and make their wife. No, there is a process of making. Uh, you see some men go to take dowry when they are called grandfathers. Who are they li been living? Illegal with wives. So I don't want you to come and write a letter or an SMS to me when you have been living with your wife for many years and say now we are having a dowry. You are, you are foolish. You need to wake up very early. You, you need to make a wife you as before you stay with her. So you have turned her into a grandmother and then this is the time you are paying dowry. All those years of illegality. You need to correct mistakes, Charlie. 